Hello everyone, welcome back to Nomo Studio. So in this video, we'll be answering these 5 item questions for you to practice para sa inyong upcoming na examination. So without any further ado, simula na po natin. Increase 70 by 50%. Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to answer. In our previous videos, we have learned on how to calculate mentally the 10%, 20%, 30%, and so on of any number. You may check the video description if hindi nyo pa po napanood kung paano nga ba mag-mental calculate ng 10%, 20%, and 30% of any number dahil magagamit nyo po yon dito sa ating video ngayon. Now, balik na po tayo dito sa ating first problem. Ang sabi po dito, increase 70 by 50%. Ang ibig sabihin lamang po nito, we need to increase or we need to add the 50% of 70. So, ibig sabihin nito, kunin muna natin ang 50% ng 70, tapos yung result, idagdag natin kay 70. This only means, the 50% or kalahati ni 70 is 35. So, yung 35, idagdag lang po natin kay 70. So, 35 plus 70, and that is equal to 105. So, ito na po yung sagot. So now, let's proceed with our next problem. Increase 125 by 10%. Ang unang gagawin lang po natin dito is to get the 10% of this number. Kapag nakuha na po natin ang 10% nito, yung result, idadagdag din natin sa 125. And again, to get the 10% of any number, ang gagawin lang po natin is to move the decimal point from right to left ng isang movement. So, ibig sabihin pala nito, ang 10% ni 125 is just 12.5. Itong si 12.5, ito yung idadagdag natin kay 125. So, 125 plus 12.5 and that is equal to 137.5. So, ito na po yung sagot. So, ganyan lang po siya kadali. And now, let's proceed with our next problem. Increase 715 by 15%. Ano kaya ang sagot dito? Feel free to pause the video if you'd like to practice. Again, kunin po muna natin ang 15% ni 715. At yung result, yun din po yung idadagdag natin kay 715. Ngayon, kunin po muna natin ang 10% ni 715. Ang gagawin lang po natin dito is to move the decimal point from right to left ng isang movement. Ibig sabihin po nito, ang 10% ni 715 is 71.5. So, meron na po tayong 10%. Ang kailangan na lang natin is 5% to make a total of 15%. Paano naman po kunin ang 5%? Now, para makuha po natin ang 5%, di ba ito yung 10%, 71.5? Kung ito yung 10%, ibig sabihin ang kalahati nito, ito na yung 5%. Kasi nga 10% ito, so ang kalahati ni 10%, 5%. So nangangahulugan na kalahati din po nito, yun na yung 5%. So ang kalahati ni 71.5 is 35.75. So now we have a total of 15%. So kunin din po natin ang sum ng dalawang numbers na ito, 71.5 and 35.75. So we have a total of 107.25. Ang ibig sabihin lamang po nito na ito pala yung 15% ni 715. At ito rin po yung idadagdag natin dito kasi nga we need to increase this number by 15% of itself. And this only means that 715 plus 107.25 and we have a total of 822.25. So this is our final answer. And now let's proceed with number 4. Decrease 320 by 80%. So now, Kung ito yung baseline natin, which means ito yung 100% or ito yung kabuuan, 
So we need to deduct or we need to decrease this number by 80%. So ibig sabihin po nito, 100% minus 80%. So yung ating total dito or yung answer is 20% na lang. So ibig sabihin po nito, itong sagot natin, ito pala yung 20% ni 320 kasi nga ito yung 100% minus 80% so we have a remaining of 20%. Ngayon, to get the 20% of this number, all we have to do is to get first the 10% of this number kasi nga mas madali po nating makuha. Again, to get the 10% of any number, all we have to do is to move the decimal point from right to left ng isang movement. So, ang 10% pala ni 320 is just 32. Dalawang 32, that is 64. So, ang 20% pala ni 320 is just 64. Ito na yung sagot natin. And I hope it makes sense. So, now let's proceed with number 5. Decrease 1,200 by 18%. Ngayon naman po, ang gagawin natin is to get first the 20% of this number para mas madali po nating masagutan. Kasi si 20%, closer lang siya kay 18%. Ang 10% naman po nito is imove lang natin ang decimal point from right to left ng isang movement. So, ang 10% ni 1,200 is 120. Now, dalawang 120 that is 240. So, 240 is the 20% of 1,200. Kung ito yung 20% ni 1,200, since ang kinakailangan lang po natin is 18%, so we need to subtract 2% from 20% to make 18%. Ngayon, kunin muna natin ang 1% ni 1,200. To get the 1% of any number, Ang gagawin lang po natin is to move the decimal point from right to left ng dalawang movement. So we have 1, 2. So 12 is 1% 1 of 1,200. So kung si 12, ito yung 1% 1 ni 1,200, dalawang 12, we have 24. So 24 is 2% 2 of 1,200. Ngayon, balik po tayo dito. Kung ito yung 20%, we need to subtract 2% to get the 18%. So 240 minus 24, which is the 2%. So 240 minus 24, that is 216. Si 216, ito pala yung 18% ni 1,200. In which ito rin po yung isa subtract natin dito to get the correct answer. So 1,200. Minus 216, and that is equal to 984. And this is our final answer. And that's all for this video, and I hope you've learned something new today. At kung bago ka pa lang po sa ating channel, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and share this video to your friends. Hope to see you next time. Bye for now.